Hi, Sue Wilson here with a card that's kind of a scene that I want to show you all the little bits and features to this. It's quite a fun card to do. We'll run you through what we'll be using in today's video. I am using the little, oops, let me get a hold. There we go. The little cloud from the You Are My Sunshine. Here is the 3D basket. We'll show you how that assembles. The majestic tree. I'm just going to be using the apple here from the wooden uh, garden cart. From the necessities rain or shine, I've got the sun we'll be using. We're going to use the clouds here to do a little stenciling on our background from our stitched hills and clouds. The embossing folder called climbing vines we'll use on the background. And we're going to be using the double pierced ovals, in fact two sets, I apologize. Set A and set B to create a frame for our card. Pop those to the side. I'll start with my embossing. I've got a piece of coconut white card that is seven inches by seven and a half. And we will bring in our embossing folder. Like that. Put that right inside the climbing vines. Get it nice and straight. It's a very linear design. There we go. And the adapter plate is all we need for that. One cast through. There we go. So you've got a really beautiful emboss on that. I like that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put that onto my backing and we can work up from there. Just done a white on white mat because there's so many colors in this. And I'll give you an overall measurement when I get this put together. Like that. And the overall card size is going to be eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters. Okay. Leave that to the side. So I want to bring in another piece of card to do some stenciling on. And this one's going to, it's going to be cut around the uh, outside of the oval, but I'm starting with five inches by five and three quarter inches. So I've just cut one of the stitched clouds and I'm going to use that as my stencil. I'm going to bring in some broken china and some tumbled glass distress ink. I'm going to start with the tumbled glass. It's a little paler. And we're just going to work across those clouds, moving it a few times. And I'm not going to re-ink it every time, so I'll get different values of my blue. There we go. Oops. Hold that into place. Just move it around all over. And then I'm going to bring in some of the broken china for a little bit deeper of a blue. Work that a little bit onto my paper there. Take off some of the extra color. There we go. Twist it a little bit. Just keep moving it around and it'll give you that highlight, that look of a cloud coming through. There we go. That's looking really nice. I'll put one more up here in the corner. Okay. I'm liking that. Pop that to the side so you can see. I've got just kind of a billowy background there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my frame over the top of it and we'll trim around the excess. I've gone ahead and cut it and I've put the mounting foam on it. Let me give it a quick dry so it'll stick. There we go. Pop my oval frame over that and it's raised with some uh, mounting foam. And we will just trim away the extra bit down the edge. And this side. There we go. Okay. 
So next I want to put my tree in here. Now I've gone ahead and I've cut the tree and let me just explain this die to you. It's a little bit different. So the majestic tree comes in three pieces. I have a trunk piece so you can cut it in a different color. I've done mine in like a chestnut brown. And then the tree top comes with an outer ring that doesn't touch all the way. Okay, and then it comes with little pieces of the leaves and I will show you what you get when you cut this. It'll look like this and you're just going to pop these up. They're already in attached but cut out so you can just move them up and then you'll need to just trim with scissors right across that. And that way what you can do is, let me put this away, take your glue on the back of your trunk and just add a little bit of glue here all the way down. Try and get some up in the little branches this way. That should do it. And it fits right into place where it goes. Okay. So we can glue that into place. Some of that glue will dry clear. And I'm going to put a little bit more in the back and then we'll glue it into place here. So you can cut an entire tree out of the colors you like. And you can even use that outside piece to back it with a different color if you want. So I'm going to pop that right into place, just moving my trunk down a little bit, I think. There we go. We can lift those up. All right, so now I can put this piece into place. And I'll just use a little bit of a glue on the back of it. That should hold it. And we'll pop that into place right about here. And what I want to do before that sets up is to add a sun, which I've cut from a different set from a rain or shine and a little bit of glue on that. And we're going to just tuck the edge right under there. So he looks like he's sticking out and the same thing with the clouds. So I've got some tiny little clouds and we'll just pop those around. You can add a little bit of um, blue highlight if you like. You can just lightly touch them with the uh, tumbled glass to give them a little bit of color. Pop that one like that. Just creating a nice little scene. And maybe one more down here, just a little bit under there. Okay, so now we're working our way up the basket. So this is our uh, bushel basket here and it comes like this. So you've just fold these in and fold this and I'll show you how to assemble it. There's also a solid piece which I am going to use. So I'm going to pop a little glue onto that first. There we go. Right like that. Put that piece in the back of it. Just try and get it nice and squared up. There we go. And then there's a couple of bands. So I'm going to add a little bit of antique linen ink for these. Bring in a smoothie and we're just going to give a little bit of an edge. Bring out some of the detail and just sort of set it off against the basket a little bit. If you want it to be a little darker, you could put a brown, a vintage photo, or maybe a frayed burlap on it. There we go. And we can even do a little bit along the top and edges of our basket. There we go. Okay. Pop that over there and assemble these. I'm going to put some glue on the back here and on this one. Get that a second to set up and a little bit on these flaps back here. And I'm just going to give this a second to set right along this point and this point here. Okay, so now let's work this direction. I'm going to put the larger one at the top. Get that on there. The thinner one goes in the middle and it shows right on the basket there's an open area there for you. Okay, get that straight. And now I'm going to give it just a little bit of bend with my fingers. And this part, you'll just have to hold it a tiny bit in place. This will take a few seconds. I'm going to hold that flap even with that. So give it a couple of seconds to catch. Okay, so you can see you've got that uh, three dimensional look to that. I'm going to add a piece of mounting foam to the back of that. 
and we are going to add in some apples. Just going to get that right to the top. Now I've cut a bunch of the apples and I've added on some little green stems. They're really cute. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of place them along the back of the basket, just sort of overlapping a little bit. There's one. There's another one, if I can get a hold of them. There we go. So you've got a couple bas a couple apples showing, and then I want to add the handle, and I forgot to put a little bit of ink on the handle here. There we go. We'll pop some glue on the base of the tips of this, and just put that into place right here and here. That'll just take a few seconds to set up. Get that nice and straight. There we go. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. And we should be able to seat this right down in the corner here, below our frame. Give that a few seconds to set. Now I've stamped, or I've um, die cut the uh, Thanks a Bunch out of chestnut. So I've done that twice. I'm going to use a little bit of spray mount on it. And I think I will even use a little bit of cosmic glue in some places just to make sure because we've got that embossed background. And put that right about here. There we go. And a couple extra apples that have just fallen out of the basket. We're going to put them loosely around. Can't have too many apples, can you? There, and there. Kind of overlap those. I think that is so cute. And there you have it, a fun little scene. And it's just a nice way to say thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel.